of a sudden it's April and that means there is one month until our exams start. But on the plus side, it means it's two months till exams are over. Yay! Now, the most important thing you need to focus on at the moment is looking after yourself. This is looking after your physical health and looking after your mental health. We do not want to get to the end of exams or exam results day in August and you be an absolute wreck. So please, please, please make sure you are taking breaks, make sure you're doing things that you enjoy, make sure you're socialising, make sure you're seeing your friends, make sure you're eating and make sure you're sleeping properly. All of these things are just as important as revising. When you are revising, you need to be doing in short bursts. So you're spending 20 minutes, half an hour on one subject, having a quick break, five minutes, go make up tea. You don't drink tea, go make someone else a cup of tea. They will love you for it. And then 20 minutes, half an hour on a completely different subject or a completely different style. So maybe spend 20 minutes doing a chemistry predicted paper, go and have a break for five minutes, and then spend 20 minutes doing a bit of extended writing for English. Have a break, go back to your chemistry and then spend 20 minutes marking the work that you've done have a five minute break, go back to English and spend 20 minutes improving your extended answer. You do not have to sit there for hours and hours and hours and end just doing the same thing over and over again. That is not good for anybody. We need to be doing little and often, little and often. At this stage, most of your revision should be based around practice questions. Whether that's the predicted papers that I've written for you and available for download on my website, whether that's papers you've downloaded from the exam board, whether that's a workbook, or whether that's some multiple choice questions I've got up for you on my website. Practice questions are the best thing that you can be doing now for revision. Flashcards and mind maps are brilliant things, but those things take time to make. If you've got them made already, then that is amazing, then use them. But if you haven't got them made already, then we need to think and start thinking about focusing on more high impact ways that you can revise, and that is by doing practice questions, looking at the answers, looking at the mark scheme, working out which areas you need to improve on, and then improving your answers and trying it again. There aren't that many practice papers out there. I've written a load of predicted papers for you on my website, but just because you've done a paper once, doesn't mean you have to stop doing it and move on. Put it to one side and go back and do it again two weeks later to see if you've improved. There are going to be a few topics that maybe you're not a hundred percent on and this is always a really really tricky thing at this time of year. Do you spend a long long time trying to understand a topic you don't understand and maybe getting to 50% on that topic or do you take a topic that you're already 60% understanding and improving your understanding up to 100%. Now we know there is going to be quite a lot of breadth in the exam. If you're aiming for one of those top grades then you Yes, you do need to know everything really, really well. But if you're not aiming for a top grade, if you just need a good grade or if you just need a pass, then some of those really, really hard topics that you don't understand, maybe, just maybe, you don't need to understand them. Maybe there's a better use of your time. Maybe a better use of your time would be doing some stress relief, going for a walk, taking the dog um, out for some exercise, doing some yoga or going for a run. Or maybe a better use of your time would be improving your knowledge in a slightly different area so it's up to 100% so you're really, really confident if that question comes up. Now this is always going to be a risky situation but you maybe don't need to know everything 100%. There could be better things you could be doing with your time as opposed to what feels like banging your head against a brick wall, doing a subject over and over and over again that really, really isn't sinking in. Now, we can't do this for whole topics like maths, 
but if there is a small subtopic, um, for example, balancing equations in chemistry, it is not necessarily going to be useful um, doing a whole day's worth of balancing equations for something that could potentially be worth two marks, three marks, four marks out of your whole GCSE, when you could spend that day doing lots and lots of other things. Now this is a slightly risky situation, this is a risky decision to make, but with only a month left it is one that is worth thinking about. I remember for my A-level maths there was one topic I literally did just not get. I can't remember what topic it was now, but I did so many, so many, so many practice questions on that topic, I learned what the answer should look like. So when that topic came up in the exam, I still didn't understand it, but I knew what an answer should look like, and that's what I wrote down. So practice questions, exam questions are really, really the way to go, guys. Please remember to look after yourself, um, and remember I'm here with you every single step of the way. I'm not going to stop until you stop. Um, I'm doing all of this with you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.